We have added to our computerized office a phenomenal camera. This camera can capture images of your eyes on the outside and the inside. This technology is a dream come true. It has taken 15 years and four different camera variations to get here. For example, the resolution you see exceeds normal film from the past. In many cases, there is no need to dilate your eyes. This software has gone beyond our expectations, and it is our pleasure to bring it to you. This is a normal retina. Here you see the peripheral retina, macula, and the optic nerve. Everything changes over time. Now we are able to document and note slight changes that will help us help you to prevent these issues. Just watch all of these subtle things that can easily be missed over time. In this image, note the plaques that are starting to develop. Prevention is the best answer. In the picture of this eye, note the white ring developing around the edge of the cornea. 50% of the time, this is due to high cholesterol. In this image, note the iris freckles. Are they changing? Is that dark area on the lid normal? or will it develop into something? From the image previously shown, this could be the dark spot on the eyelid. Two years later, five years later, maybe 10. Here we see basal cell carcinoma. In this image we see abnormal vessels growing into the cornea from overwearing contact lenses. The redness slowly increases year after year. Documenting it helps realize the issue. Here we see lid tissue affecting vision. The lid tissue can act as a blinder, a real safety issue in traffic. As you can see, dry eyes slowly can lead to this level of redness. This is a normal view of the inside of one's eye. The eye nerve is the white round area. Is this eye nerve developing glaucoma with the deep and enlarged cupping? This is an extreme example of advanced glaucoma cupping of the optic nerve. Notice the extreme depression and damage due to the weak nerve head relative to the eye pressure. In this imagery, note the optic nerve becoming pale, as in multiple sclerosis. Brain tumors can cause the swelling of the optic nerve. In this image of the inside of the eye, we see drusen in the macular area. The macula is the darker red area with the small white spot in the center. This is the tissue that allows you to see 2020. It is very important to preserve. Drusen may be the beginning of macular changes, macular degeneration. Please always wear your sunglasses. Here we see an example of drusen developing into macular degeneration. This is macular degeneration. We see in this image a normal young inside of an eye. Here we have an example of an eye that has damage to the inside of the eye due to high blood pressure. The whitened areas show the vessels that no longer receive sufficient blood supplies. These areas in the eye are no longer able to see. This image shows diabetic hemorrhages and changes. This image shows a young healthy, normal inside of the eye. Notice the color, healthy vessels, and shine. In this picture, indicated by the arrow, is the dark area normal or not? With the wonderful ability of our camera to combine nine images into one, we are able to get this composite image which shows peripheral pigmentary changes, some of which are normal, some of which are not. In this image, will a dark area remain flat or develop into something? With the new fascinating technology, the software we use can help separate color to help us see more of your eye and in different ways. Our office is also equipped with a new program that has computerized acuity charts. This means we can randomize the charts to eliminate memorization to collect more accurate data. We can single out lines of letters. 
For our young patients, we can use pictures instead of letters. In our acuity charts, we can also single out characters. At our office, handwritten charts are a thing of the past. Here you see a chart that has highlighted in yellow a maximum correctable vision. You can see how well you can see and the changes from your RX over time with the push of a button. Here you see a row that shows the Spectacle RX in 1999. This shows the Spectacle RX in 2001. Here we see the columns that show the right eye's information about the Spectacle RX. This column shows the change over time of the nearsightedness or farsightedness. This column represents the amount of astigmatism, how football shaped. This column relates to the orientation of astigmatism, the axis. Here we see eye pressure as it relates to glaucoma. It should be less than 24 units. With our computerized medical records, we can quickly see how the eye pressure changes over the years and time of day. This is the readout of the data from looking down the instrument with the farmhouse. It gathers a tremendous amount of information in an instant. The data collected also measures the distance between your eyes, which is paramount when making your glasses. You see here a correlate of your spectacle RX. Here we see the curves of a patient's eyes. This graph is acquired when you look at the farmhouse. This instrument gathers a tremendous amount of information in an instant. These are the front curves of your cornea, the front clear window that lets the light into your eye is the most powerful optical surface, so you would like to know if it is normal and stable. It is like a topographical map. Red is steep like a mountain, blue is flat like a plain. These images in this graph are light green in the middle with normal curves which are fairly uniform indicating a round eye shaped like a basketball, meaning the eye is just slightly nearsighted or farsighted with very little or no astigmatism. Next we see, in this graph, the hourglass shapes in the topography images which indicate astigmatism. The red in this graph indicates very steep corneas which denotes a condition called keratoconus.